Hey guys, this is Julia from Crocoblog. If you ever wondered how to output a URL in the media field, you clicked on the right video. With the help of this short but detailed tutorial, you will know how to output a link to a certain media file like PDF and zip ones just in a couple of clicks. First of all, there are two things you need to be installed and activated. The Jet Engine plugin and also the attachment a link callback add-on. To get this add-on, scroll down the crocoblock.com homepage, click on the Dev Tools, and select the ones for the Jet Engine. Now search for the attachment link callback add-on and download it. So, step 1. Make sure that the add-on is uploaded and activated. By the way, to make the add-on work properly, you will need a custom post type and a media meta field to be created. Also, make sure that the necessary files are added to your posts. Now, step 2. Open the listing you need in Elementor. Add the dynamic field widget to the listing. And now we need to configure it. In the source dropdown, choose Metadata. Then in the Meta field dropdown, select the custom media field you've created with the Jet Engine. In my case, it is called Book File, but yours can be named otherwise. Below, you will find Filter Field Output Toggle. Enable it. In the Callback tab, make sure to select the Get Attachment File Link by ID option. Now, if you want to customize how your media file link is displayed, you can choose one of these options under the display name. For example, if the first option file name is selected, the user will see the file name and the format. Then you can set it to Attachment, Current or Parent Post Title or select Custom and enter the custom label. For example, get the book or download the image and so on. It's pretty much it. Don't forget to style it and let's check how it works on the front end. Here is my listing grid and if I click on Get the book, it downloads the book I uploaded into the media field of this post. This is it for today's tutorial. Don't forget to check the links in the description box below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it and make sure you're subscribed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.